No, this is not Lavender Town. We're in Midnight Scenes, a new point and click horror thriller game. I'm Clown Nebula and I welcome you to the experience. A short game by Octavi Navarro. Okay, I'm ready for it. Are you ready, lads and girls? Hope you are. Because we are right about to tune in from the stars to the stairs. Downstairs. So let's see what this is all about. Claire Barnes, age 29. She's about to discover what kind of horrors lurk in the darkness of a deserted road. Like a wild Pokemon, for example. Can you imagine there being a real Pokemon in the high grass that jumps at your car and destroys it? Because uh, they want to battle you and they think that you're uh, not a Pokemon and you will fight back, but instead you just die? That, that's what our lies, uh, for real, in Lavender Town. A flat tire delayed the player's trip. Little she suspects uh, how this little, little incident uh, will change her life uh, forever. In better because uh, she will collect insurance money and she will become rich and have a nice uh, uh, big house uh, with the pool and the pool table as well as well as her perception of reality okay and this is us uh, so we change this uh, because of the radio okay so I disconnected okay we are alone and now there's a never-ending fence Tonight's episode, The Highway. Alright, I'm into it. Okay. There you go. Of course, uh, we need to repair some shit because uh, it wouldn't be a point and click game if there weren't any problems uh, ahead of the road. And also, we should be able to not get fried in the meantime. Luckily, she has high heels, uh, so we can survive if she, uh, Jack and Wire goes uh, into the water. An unexpected obstacle, a new delay for Claire. She might need to find some help to resume her journey as soon as possible. Fortunately, she notices a signal pointing to a near emergency phone. Let's wish her luck! <laughs> I, I feel like I should say that in a more Vincent Price way. Let's wish her luck! <laughs> See, some, uh, something like that. Alright, so... Oh, shit! Okay. Did she get fried? No. What's in here? Okay, the options. Alright, what's in this box? What's in the box? Okay, there's a cattle here. Okay. Someone liked so much this kid that has put a sausages in his mouth. Uh, oh god, that sounded horrible. And uh, to stab his eyes as well? What? What is this? A missing sign? I don't know, is this a key that's carved like a pumpkin? Uh, something for Halloween? Okay, it's time to get the fuck away from here! No, I guess not. Fuck. Of course, I, why, why don't I have the option to turn away? Like, I don't care to have an adventure, I want to just... Fuck, fucking, fucking. I want to just be able to live my life, you know? Do I have anything in the trunk except for a body? Perhaps I have the body of the kid. Uh, Behind my trunk. Okay, and this one is seems uh, kind of well. Okay, let's go into a totally not suspicious place. Okay, this one is a little bit better. Hmm. Okay, so they're missing. There's a missing kid. Uh, I guess the kid that was driving this truck. Uh, that's why it's missing. It's just like it launched the way <laughs> after like uh, hitting this trunk. Uh, just uh, launch himself into the sky for the impact. Okay, let's see. Oh, we have some uh, wire cutters. And what do we have here? Some uh, wire and a shovel just to dig a grave in case we need it. A hammer, bowl cutters. Okay, can I hammer the bowl cutters? No. Okay, so we, I need a key for this, I suppose. Alright, let's see. Oh, there's an emergency phone. Of course it will work. Okay. What the heck is, is that? Pac-Man? The physics of Pac-Man. Okay, this is a drawing of the kid and the scarecrow. Or the man was in, like, chasing for him. Okay, this all sounds very, very nice. I'm so glad to be stuck here. Oh, is the scarecrow. Hi, buddy. You look quite happy. 
Oh shit. Okay, probably need to like put it in the exact way. Hmm. Why can't I pick this up? Okay, doesn't matter. Alright, let's take a look. Why is it bleeding though? So what how is okay, it is uh, like uh, like this, 45 degrees angles. Uh, all right, probably somehow this will move. Shit, of course. Okay, so this should be good. Okay, probably need to nail it. Let's see, maybe I can hammer it. No, maybe I can tie it. Okay, awesome. And now for magic reasons. Actually, I should I should have like a scarecrow like this. No one will wonder that in order to open a door, you need to actually lift uh, his arms up. Okay, spooky house check. Or maybe this is a Pokemon Center since we are in Lavender Town. Someone has a very bad cold. <laughs> I can see it's like a sniffing. <laughs> uh, give me my medicine, please. That's my. I, I need something to speed out uh, all this mucus I have. Okay, this is the, let's see, lovely paintings. Uh, okay, this is Joseph and this is Mary, this is little baby Jesus. Or maybe little baby Ash. Because uh, again, we're in the Pokemon world. Uh, Alright, this one, what it says. Okay, two farmers. Uh, once they decided they can become Pokemon trainers. Uh, so they decided to make uh, their ch the child the best Pokemon trainer in the world. Yeah, some TV, why not? Uh, this is Bigfoot? Uh, or something? What, what the hell is that? Okay. Um, right, it looks a bit like us. Okay, there's blood in here. Or maybe the, 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 the scarecrow was leaking. Oh, okay. They build a the mechanism themselves. Okay, so it's nothing weird. At all. Okay, I want to check this room before going into the... Okay, maybe I want to check the creepy bathroom first. Oh shit. Okay. You don't want to go in there anymore, don't you? Okay, there's a body there. Uh, let's leave it there. Probably it will follow us. I, I, I think I know how this will go. Okay, some planking with a hole in it. When the wife wasn't home, the man needed to, you know, pleasure himself somehow. So I, I wouldn't touch that. Okay, uh, an iron shoe and a nail. Okay, perhaps I need to put this nail in here and shove it uh, in my nose. Oh, okay, there you go. I need to put it here. Okay, so now I can climb up. Let's see. Well, this is a nice place also to avoid monsters of any kind. Look at it. You can see the sky from here. And so... What we have? Oh, a lantern. That's nice. What can I do with it? So, lads and girls, hope you're having a good day today. And a good week as well. Studying or working. Hope you're taking some time for yourself. Like uh, this time to watch this video. Maybe you're ready for some spooks. They will come eventually. Oh, there you go. I need to this in order to get... Uh, yeah, what? Did you just see the body before? Okay, hi. What up? Oh, he's the Bigfoot. Uh, there you are. I wonder if he's if he's dead, for real. Okay, someone blowed him too hard. Uh, maybe the wife was jealous of the plank with a hole in it, uh, <laughs> and that's you know, nobody can pleasure my husband except me. Okay, anything else I could need? Okay, no, here's the keys uh, to the trunk. Uh, okay, now I will turn off the TV and I'm going on my weary, merry way. I hope no corpses will come after me. Like uh, this guy suddenly, when I pick up the truck, uh, like, uh, will come after me. Well, I, I, at least I can chop him off with these ca cutters. Okay, nothing else I need? No. Okay, bye-bye, sir. Have a nice day. Yes. 
Okay, do you want to close the... No, 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 no. Okay. Hmm, now... Okay, we can cut the wires now. No. Don't you want to cut the wires? Okay, there you go. So now I can proceed... In the... Be dead. This is where... Oh, why, why the fuck are so many cars in here? What the, what the kind of highway is this? Why did they close the road before? Oh well, you know, there's a bunch of bodies. I guess uh, we can make this make this an attraction of this place. Come to the most dangerous highway in the states. Like a, <laughs> uh, it's like a 500 percent of accidents, deadly accidents, uh, and uh, counting. Uh, and uh, every year there are 30 percent, 30 percent more deadly accident than the last year. That's nice. Then I the year before. Okay, well, she doesn't seem disturbed so much. Okay, this is a map. I don't know what can I do about it. Uh, except shake his hand, perhaps. Uh, they want a high five. Okay, let's see this body. Uh, okay, they were going to a sort of uh, show exposition or something. Okay. This kid uh, is probably uh, kind of a dick. <laughs> you know, it's like a, a psych kid or something. Experiment, a weird experiment on the highway. And he escaped, I suppose. Huh. Uh, so, they want me to go in here. Okay, at this point I would just turn my high heels and get the fuck home. But uh, I can do what I want to do. Hmm. Looks like it needs to connect somehow, like the old days of the modern connection. Okay, never mind then. Oh, hi little kid! So, are you friendly? Hello? I'm, uh, I'm your friend? No? Hmm, you left something. Uh, I wouldn't touch it, it looks... Okay, once up friend, a horse. I don't want to become a horse, so I'd rather get one for him. Claire Bur Burns, age 29. With great effort, she finally managed to push aside the fallen power pole and resume her journey. Still terrified, she stopped in the first gas station to contact the authorities and inform about the disturbing events she had just witnessed. Nothing out of the ordinary was found by the police on that stretch of road. Yeah, for sure, because they want to hide all the accidents. So, if the if someone would know, they nobody will come here to the ordinary gas station. I guess. No signs of any crash or the presence of any mysterious kid. The man living in the farm was found, a bit drunk but in good condition. Maybe this is all imagination? Not a single word was written in any newspaper about the horrors Claire witnessed that night. She went on with her life, trying to convince herself that she wasn't crazy after all, that she probably just saw something not meant to be seen. Yeah, probably the tourist office is behind all of this. They don't want to devalue their highway thing. So this was Midnight Scenes. Made by Octavi Navarro. Well, very good job. I like, really like the art style and the story. It was quite a tense atmosphere. A nice, uh, uh, intriguing uh, story, I guess. <laughs> Made with Unity. Okay. So, thank you very much for making this game, Octavi. And, um, yeah, if you enjoyed this short game, please consider supporting my work on Patreon. Okay, I'll put... Uh, the link in the description down below so if you want uh, you can check it out and, and help this developer creating more terrifying stories so again congrats uh, to you developer for making this game and i wish you the best of luck in making other projects as well i will be glad to play more of this series midnight stories uh, midnight scenes story and uh, i thank you especially for watching feel free to comment like subscribe and let me know in the comments what you thought of this game Feel free to suggest me some others I should play for you. It's always a pleasure. Thank you very much for sticking around here. Hope here I'm entertaining you well enough and to you know let you escape for some time the hardness of reality. And uh, we will see each other again in the next video I will make. And remember, if you can't sleep.
the clowns are gonna eat thee. Good night.